Before moving ahead into modeling the side fins, I just want to show you the advantages of modeling an object using a mirrored instance. Using a mirrored instance, we would delete half of our object and then mirror an instance of one half over to the other side. Any vertex or face or edge that we would move on one side of the object will immediately be mirrored on the other side. So when we go to model our side fin, if we have our mirrored instance working, we would model one side and the other side would immediately be modeled as well. It's kind of like setting up another way of setting up a reflection. So let's go into poly mode. And let's look at our object. In the beginning, I believe in the first movie, I had mentioned making sure that you keep your middle vertexes and edge exactly on the axis. And it's for this reason that now, as long as your vertices and edges are right on this axis, we can delete everything. Oh, actually, let me grab faces. We can delete everything on one side. Actually, let's make sure it's the other side. Okay. Sometimes it's a little confusing making sure which way you're looking at an object. And I have most everything except for these top faces right here. I think everything else looks okay. So let's go ahead and delete these faces. Now we have half of our object. Go back to object mode. To get a mirrored instance, we would need to do a duplicate special. So let's go up to edit, duplicate special with the option box. You want to make sure that our geometry type is set to instance and not copy. And we need to do a negative scaling on the proper axis. So if we look, if we need to mirror across this axis, we are going to be mirroring in the Z axis. So we need to set up a negative one in the Z axis. And when we press duplicate special, we get another side of our model. You can smooth it. You will see a seam, but that's okay. After we're all done, we will wind up combining and merging this model together and we'll get rid of that seam. But for right now, I will select vertex and grab a couple of vertices. And with the move tool, you can see as soon as I select the vertices, you see them selected on the other side. And if we move this, it automatically gets moved. So this will help in modeling our side fin. It's another way of being able to have a mirrored reflection. You can use the reflection tool in the tools menu, or you can use this method of creating a mirrored instance. In the next movie, we will start modeling the side fin.